Hey guys, Nick Espinosa, your Chief Security Fanatic here, and today we are actually talking about the President Trump and Kim Jong-un North Korea Summit. Now, obviously I think the world wishes and hopes them nothing but the best because nuclear dearmament is always a good thing, especially when it comes to North Korea, but that's not necessarily what we're talking about. There is actually a cybersecurity concern that has stemmed from the conference and it's not really focusing on President Trump or Kim Jong-un, it's focusing on the journalists around them. Now, when the journalists arrive, and usually what happens when the president travels is that he has an entire um, delegation of journalists with him from major, major news sources for, uh, throughout the world, um, <clears throat> they are typically given by, I think, one of the countries, like gift bags like water and you know like notes and little tchotchkes and stuff like that and so the gift bag that the journalists received had all of those things but they also had a usb powered fan and the reason why that is really interesting is because hackers can easily hijack things like usb fans to insert malware into them and so when you insert them into your computer you're bypassing a lot of defenses and a lot of times zero day exploits will just walk right past virus scanners and infect computers and so if a journalist plugs in one of these usb fans it's very possible that he or she may actually be infecting their computer now this is the first time we've seen this where nations have tried to hit journalists. Back in 2014 in the Winter Olympics in Sochi, Russia, uh, journalists were given a USB stick on top of a whole bunch of other stuff by the Sochi, the Russian committee, or whatever it's called, that, run the, that ran the Sochi Olympics, and that was known to contain surveillance malware. And so if a reporter plugged it into their laptop, here we go, it would give remote access or surveillance capability to the Russians. And so we are looking at this skeptically and one journalist had basically tweeted out, um, I believe it was a Dutch journalist, had tweeted out a uh, uh, his fan and then obviously the cybersecurity world kind of exploded saying, don't you dare plug that in. So that is your North Korean news from the cybersecurity side of things. And please like, share, follow me here on Facebook and Twitter at Nick AESP. Thanks guys.